Godspeed to the Speedy Tribe. How we doing out there, man? I just want to get piggyback off something that I heard from the great Eric Thomas, man. And it's this. A lot of y'all ain't willing to sacrifice the parties, the glitz and the glamour and all this other good stuff to get where you got to be, right? Let me tell you something. When I was in college, right? I went to a four-year university. I graduated and everything. Got my bachelor's degree, right? But in those four years, man, I barely went to any parties and I barely just had any fun, let alone, let me tell you something. I didn't learn anything in the classroom, but this is this is, this is where everything counts. When I was away from the classroom, when I went back to my room, to my dorm, I just put the extra work in, man. You got to be willing to put extra work in. You got to be willing to say no to the liquor. You got to be willing to say no to the weed every damn day. You got to be willing to say no to the girls sometimes, man, here and there. Like, I'm not saying not to have fun. What I'm saying is, if you're looking to build an empire, if you're looking to build something big in life, you got to say no a lot. The power of no is powerful. The power of no is powerful. When you say no to certain things, life is going to grant you great things. When you say no, life is going to say yes. And the reason why life is going to say yes is because it's seeing that you're taking your power, right? And you're saying no to things that serves as detriments to you. And you're saying yes to things that, that benefit you. And when those things benefit you, they're going to benefit you tenfold and you're going to get what you want. But when you don't say no, when you say yes all the time to it, life will say no. When you say yes all the time, life will say no because it's going to see that you're not valuing yourself. But when you say no, it'll say yes because it sees you valuing yourself. Reasons why I got to where I am right now and I was able to achieve because I started saying no. You have to simply say no. And it's always from food all the way down to the sexual thing, to the women. You got to say no to certain women. You got to say no to certain fools. You got to say no to certain events that people want you to go to. You got to be, you have to say no. If you're really serious about getting where you want to, when you want to get, you got to say no. I said no to all the college parties. Everybody want to go out. Everybody want to go out Thursday, Thursdays and all this other stuff. I was like, nah, I ain't going. For one, I wasn't I was never at a party type, so it worked in my favor, which is a great thing. Two, I just knew, like, yo, what am I getting out of this? I'm about to be around a bunch of drunk people. I'm about to be around a bunch of belligerent people. And they're about to start a fight, most likely, because, you know, alcohol boosts your, your emotions. And you either you want to fight or you want to just be lovey-dovey. One of the two. And I said, nah, I'm going to just stay away from it. I'm going to just do my studies. I'm going to just stay in my room. Or I'm going to just chill with the guys. We're going to have a great weekend. We're going to play some Xbox. We're going to play some 2K. We're going to play some Madden. We're going to have a good time that way. And then when I was done with that, I went back to my room. And you know what I'm saying? I just took time to just study whatever I wanted to study to better myself, get my vocabulary up, I'll read the dictionary and all this other stuff. Because I was that serious about reaching my goals, man. I wanted to just add the need, the knack to learn. It's just instilled in me. I know it's instilled in a lot of y'all, but what you got to do is you have to start by saying no. Start by saying no, and the universe will say yes. All right? Ooh, we rolling. We back rolling. So, yeah, man. Say no, the universe will say yes to you, and watch how things work in your favor, man. All right? Godspeed, man.